Hello again, a new day, a new test. As you can see, I have a couple of these do-it-yourself portable external batteries based on uh, 18650 elements or cells. Oh yeah, this kind of cells. The concept is uh, nice. You can use recycled uh, lithium-ion cells. All right, here we have two screws. I believe I had a video about how to put a battery like this together. Well, it's discharging with two amps. That's pretty okay. It have this uh, capacity meter here, background LED for lighting the the LCD look there but I don't think they are so efficient I observed a kind of strange behavior about charging and discharging you know it takes a lot of time to charge it takes a lot of energy in I don't feel like it's something honest here so what I want to do today is to check these guys first to have a proper charging and discharging with my uh, Charleston antimatter. Take this out for now. Okay. You see it's exactly the same electronic. First of all, I'll have a test for the internal resistance as they are in parallel for elements or four cells. We should have around 20 milli ohms if they are in good shape, of course. Okay, so you are out of here. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, let's fix that. Anyway, inside the case, the wire, it's uh, pushed back into the place, but let's have a proper connection. You see, when I'm harvesting this kind of cells, I'm always let the tabs, because it's very easy to soldier on these tabs already tied to the cells. You know, all of these cells are uh, from uh, ruined laptop batteries. Let's see about the internal. That's interesting. I never measured batteries like that. Four of them in parallel. There we go. 16 milli ohms. You know what that means? We have a really great pack here. So I bet we have around 6 amps for sure. Before having charging and discharging with this electronic, I have to have a proper capacity test to this battery. And I'm using my antimatter Charson to do that in a proper way. This is a really nice charger. We can cycle cells a few times, maybe two cycles and we have exactly the right capacity. You know the classic IMAX, like IMAX B6, it's not cycling lithium or lithium polymer batteries or elements. Okay, there we go. We got the minus here. I'm trying for, okay, that's a proper grip. And the plus, we can charge with six amps. Yeah, we can charge with 6 amps without any problem. Okay, 1S because absolutely these are in parallel. Then we can discharge with 4 amps. We charge them first. In the moment when the cycle is finished, this will be discharged with no load. And then we'll do a charge with this guy. We'll run the numbers to see how much is getting in by the local electronic, let's call it and then discharging by the local electronic. And then we'll have the efficiency test of this do-it-yourself DIY kit. Okay, so we are starting the first charge and uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna have the first numbers. Okay, so here we have a problem. The original uh, LED, this little guy here, it got ruined. I don't know why, but it's not working anymore. So what I'm trying to do now, I had one of these LEDs 
and I use the grinder to make it plain on both sides and now I just want to plant it in place to have the LCD lit let me see if my project is good for something change the position because we have to reach the that special plexic uh, polarized plexic behind here let's see power on oh yes look there kind of bluish <laughs> it's even better yeah nice the original it's something like this let me see no that's a bluish one too you see that's the LED in here okay I thought it's white perfect but that's very interesting this display it's like this with the numbers that way let me see this one this one is the other side around <laughs> interesting <laughs> that's funny okay so that's an idea of replacement when you have a backlit uh, led you can use uh, a normal one grind it to the right position and uh, yeah it's working okay here we are like uh, 10 hours later let's see the results for this four in parallel pack so we have a first discharge 5429 milliamps and the second 5282 milliamps now we have a very clear idea about the state of uh, the battery let's get the cells back in the case uh, you have to be really careful with the polarity we have the plus on the left okay so finally we have 5200 million a little bit less than i was expecting i was thinking about six amps but it's looking like uh, the cells are not so great shape 5200 milliamps hour and they had like 60 milli ohms okay nothing else to do but to solder this together okay we got the plus here that's fine and we got the minus at the side and we should have this play ready yes 19 percent so this one is with the new led in the background let me drain all the charge here and put it back to charge yeah so i'm using my uh, lamp here for uh, drawing the battery to zero okay so here we are the battery is totally depleted zero percent here and i have this uh, counter so we can see very clear how much energy it's getting into this pack and yes it's charging with around a hundred and fifty 870 milliamps nice okay so here we are after eight hours and uh, 20 minutes or something the battery is fully charged we have like 7082 milliamps it's 100 percent here we can see that so i write this number down because the next step is to discharge to zero and we see the difference Okay, so now I'm charging my phone from this uh, battery, 100%. So, yeah, it's pretty capable. If we take it the other way, charge that with almost 2 amps, and that's okay. But we'll see the final capacity at the end of the cycle. Here we are, two days after the beginning of the experiment, and finally I have some results, and finally I have some numbers. So, uh, my battery here was depleted by the night using my lamp here it's a five watts uh, lamp and of course we got the numbers stored in this little device and now that's the moment that's true so we have an output of 4000 
4667 milliamps. That's how much this battery could provide for this charging. Okay? And of course, let me see about the time. I believe it's so small, I have to use my spectacles. Okay, so we have an output of uh, 4668 milliamps and it took 5 hours and 5 uh, minutes to fully discharge this battery. Okay, and uh, now let's have some numbers. So far I can say that it's, <laughs> it's a disaster. So we have a charge of 7067 milliamps hour and the discharge are 4667 milliamps hour. All right, so now we can clearly have an uh, efficiency so we divide 4667 divided by 7067 times 100 66 percent 66 percent of efficiency you may check the search results i found online thank you so much guys 66 percent we get in 100 percent and we take out 66 so it's a lose of uh, 34 percent that's a lot that's a lot so finally you see this is a typical chinese uh, do-it-yourself kit or something um will i buy something like that again no absolutely not of course it's a fun project and a fun experiment but uh, it's not really worth it oh it's cheap that's true but you are losing 34 percent of the power so it's not really worth it uh to have a compare i'm gonna have another supreme 20 that's from hama uh, external battery charge and discharge to have an idea about a professional battery is looking like okay that's it for today i hope it's useful as you can see on the screen okay i'm almost reaching 5000 subscribers so please help me and subscribe and like of course i want to reach 5000 until christmas well that will be the best gift i ever have and uh, of course i hope it's easy for like again subscribe don't forget to write i want to see your comments down there and uh, most important thing have fun bye bye